So where do chili peppers grow and why do they grow where they grow? They tend to be a tropical plant. You find them in, in areas near the equator and areas like Florida that, that do not have hard freezes. Now, of course, they're also grown commercially in a wider variety of places. Traditionally, however, you find them around the equator. And there's an interesting reason for that. Uh, humans use chilies for spices, for their food. And the idea, is, the hypothesis, is that before the days of refrigeration and artificial preservatives, humans discovered that the capsaicin in chili peppers stops microbes from growing. And therefore, if they put it in their food, they can protect and preserve their food. Where would you most likely have the biggest problem with microbes attacking your food? Well, where it's very hot and humid. That is tropical sorts of climates. And so to this day, what you find is that the cultures around the equator, human cultures around the equator, tend to use very spicy foods. There are lots of examples of this. In North America, for example, it's no coincidence that uh, gumbo is hot whereas New England clam chowder is not hot. Uh, what many people don't realize is that the spice trade changed the world uh, in kind of the same way that information technology is changing the world right now. The spice trade happened over a period of a couple centuries and it literally fueled economies around the world. And the reason why Christopher Columbus, for example, quote unquote, discovered America is because he was seeking a new route to the Orient for the spice trade. He was looking for exotic spices. And when he landed in the West Indies, he called them the West Indies because he headed west looking for India and found what he thought was the West Indies. And he was looking for spices. One of the spices he was looking for was peppers. When he landed in the West Indies, he found wild chili peppers. And the, the bite of the chili peppers, the heat, reminded him of the black and white pepper uh, spices that were used in Europe at the time, and so he called them peppers. Um, the, the Native Americans, of course, called them chilies, and now they're known by, now the, the native chili pepper in North and South America is known by both names, a chili pepper.